Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com and I'm here with my buddy Justin Kerr, FOW Pro. He's been a pro since 2002 yeah. and also a guide for many, many years. You've fished all over the country under a lot of different conditions with a lot of different people. Who better to talk to about fishing for bass, right? Let's talk about fall fishing a bit here, Justin. I want to talk about kind of the progression as the water starts to cool, the mm -hmm. seasons start to change, more fronts are coming through. The fish, they were, they've been stable all summer long. The fishing's been really good. Now things start to shift. What do you do, so let's start at the beginning of the fall when the water starts to cool. What do you start to look for and how do you start to find those fish? Yeah, bait fish is the number one deal with fall. Um, always follow the shad around. Uh, that, that seems to be my, my favorite thing to do is, is fish for top water fish and uh, schooling fish. And, and they move a lot during the fall. So you can have them in one pocket one day and another pocket another day. And, and just cover a lot of water. That's that's usually my main main thing in the fall is covering a lot of water and and fishing top waters and reaction baits, you know, mm -hmm. jerk baits and uh, uh, top water and sometimes some spinner baits work great. Uh, just focus on the shad and and follow them around. As a general rule, say I'm I'm, I'm pretty new at fishing mm -hmm. and I'm not sure about what that means. Like, okay, how would I follow that bait fish around? What would I look for? You know, uh, you know, in the fall as the water water gets cooler, they'll the shad will love to go to the backs of pockets backs of rivers um, you know so I usually start there I'll go to the back of a cove back of the river and look for shad and and go out from there so as uh, you know as, as it gets cooler and cooler and cooler the fish love to get ready for winter so they're gonna eat as much as they can and you know I'll go in the back of a cove and those fish will be in a foot and a half of water chasing bait and no one around you know so huh. which is a really cool thing to have and and it, it seemed to be real productive for me to just keep moving around till you find that bait fish and locate that bait fish but as it gets cooler it's very important to go to the backs of everything that that's how what i've seen super sheep su yeah. super shallow yes yes and, and what do you, you just fishing jigs or uh you know top water? square, square bill crankbaits spinner baits uh top waters and uh you know i just i just plug on those pretty much and, and fish around till i can narrow down what they're biting the best so it's just like fishing in the springtime almost almost you almost kind of reverse same. now almost the same except for we don't have as much shad showing up in the early spring as you do in the fall. Mm -hmm. Fall, it's it's a major player. Uh, you know, coming in the spring, they're really thinking about spawning. There, they're thinking about eating. They're really mm -hmm. thinking about eating for the winter. So, now what about lakes that don't have shad? Yeah, bluegill. Uh, you know, most lakes have bluegill, cray crayfish. Um, some places have you know gobies and and stuff like that. So, if you still concentrate on the bait fish, keep your eyes on the graph. Cook, you know, idle in the creeks, uh, backs of bays. See if you see anything on your on your fish finders, and mm -hmm. and just keep keep a big eye out for you know anything you can for forage for for bass. It's a big crankbait time. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, right? yeah. What what is what's your favorite crankbait to throw during that time of year? Uh, you know, it just it just depends. Um, but mostly I like uh, silent baits, and uh, Evergreen makes a nice uh, 400 uh, Combat Series 400. That's mm -hmm. I love and it. Uh, I actually hollow it out and make it make it uh, quiet. So, because uh, I really like having quiet baits. Uh, there's especially fishing tournaments. It seems like you know having that silent bait. There's just so many fish are so used to so much sound of baits. And I think having that silent bait's a big deal. Nice tip. Nice tip. Yeah. Keep these in <laughs> mind, folks. When you're fishing during the fall, follow that bait fish and you're gonna be really successful. Thanks for all the tips, Justin, no I really do appreciate that. For more tips and tricks, visit BassResource.com.